Hi there guys, Farmer Bob here. Welcome back to my channel. Great to be back with another map making video guys. If this is your first time on my channel, a warm welcome to you. And also a warm welcome to all my faithful subscribers and um, my supporters on Patreon. I do appreciate each one of you. Really thank you so much. Great guys, so in this video today we're going to have a look at islands on your fields. And I'm on the perfect map, which has got tons of islands on the fields, and it's the Western Australia map. So <laughs> let me quickly show you how to do islands. I figured out a way to do it. Um, it's been a big problem and uh, been bugging me that there's no way to do islands properly, you know. So I found a way to do it, and it's working nicely. I've tested it in game, and this is the way I'm going to show you. So I'm on field 23 here, and as you can see, there's two islands. I'll do one of them and um, show you how to do it so uh, when you create a field obviously it gives you four polygon points so just delete all three uh, of the th uh, two three and four and then select point number one and just start anywhere you want to start on the circle and how it works is you go around your field until you get to the place where you started and that's basically how the polygon points work so now what we're going to do is i'm going to just drop it Anyway, control B and then have it there. And while I've got my mouse, I'm not leaving the mouse button, keep it in and just hit control. Every time you hit control, it's going to create you a new polygon point. So that's a way I've found and it is so fast and so easy um, doing it this way. So now I'm going to come over onto the um, onto the field and I'm going all around this um this little island that I want to create and I'm as you can see I'm changing my field edges so that it's more smooth than it used to be and when you get here place it close to that one don't worry about too close or whatever we'll come back to it over to the other side where you started and then carry on going out with a few points all right and then we can leave it now what you're going to do is you're going to hit back uh, this way where you were and open this points of yours to the bottom just go in here and then we go to the bottom the last one will be that last one you you've done so we'll, we come down the line with him like that till we find the one that we've put there and we're just going to move it right next to that one control b and you don't want to put it on top of it, but right next to it will be fine. You can leave a little slither there of field. So it doesn't really matter because it's not, you're not, not going to see it in game or anything. Uh, one point back still should be this one. And the same thing there, control B, bring it right next to it, just so that there's a tiny slither of field. All right, like that. And that is how you do islands, guys. Easy peasy. Now I want to just show you another thing as well. If you go to your last point now, you will see it is not the last point that we've created. The last one is there. So that last one is actually your first one. All right. So if you want to go back and create more, you have to select your first point. Or if you delete your first point, I want to just show you this. If you now delete, say you've made a mistake here somewhere and you want to come back. If you delete that first point, you're going to see that um, my first point is now there where we started. So that one I have to bring over here where I left off to, to continue the line. And I'll just hold my mouse once again and hit control. And that is how it works. So that's how simple and easy it is. How fast you can do fields in this new um, field toolkit. It is amazingly nice to easily do your fields uh, fast and effective and if I now want to like I say if I want to now go back and this field this red bands like here I'm going to be too close so I'm gonna have to delete once again a few of these points because now what's gonna happen is I'm going to be too close here because if I put this field down, it's going to overlap. You don't want these red bands to overlap. It can touch one another, but don't overlap too much because you're going to have problems. Trust me on that. Thank me later. Uh, you're welcome uh, to thank me later. No problem at all. I'm just going to quickly delete some of these points and just redo this edge. 
because I want to make this field um, work better in game than they used to. So once again, back to the top, which is that one, and then Control B and continue here where I left off. So I'm going to cut away of this field a little bit and have my my band sort of in the middle of this little road so that when I do this field the bands will just touch or tiny little overlap can can still be all right but we don't want them to um, to touch too much you know uh, or overlap too much so I'm just going to do that and that is basically my tips for today for you to make uh, better fields and make islands on your maps sorted out the islands it was a huge problem for me because I wanted to have islands and I couldn't figure out a way and I know there's some scripts out there and all kinds of stuff that confuses a lot of people but this way works perfect there's no problem with it it does not interrupt your worker or your field you won't even know that there's a, a little line going up there it's not it's not possible to see it great guys thank you so much for watching I hope it's been insightful and helpful. Have a fantastic week. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. And remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Cheers, guys.